So I have a process video for you today, and this process video is going to be using uh, the sketch challenge that is over on the Click Facebook group. If you haven't joined over there, I definitely would because there's wonderful challenges, and um, anyone can play along, and you can use any products. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I have pulled out um, an older Click kit from this past fall. This is the Girl Tribe kit, and it is still available in the shop. And I wanted to use this kit and, and um, let you know that this kit is available in the shop because it's beautiful. And if you are someone who cannot afford a subscription to a monthly kit, you can grab one of these kits from the shop and you can use my code Sarah Scraps to save a little bit off of just a one-time purchase and then you get a fabulous coordinated kit. And this one features the Glitter Girl collection and I'm going to play around with this quite a bit and show you what you can do with this kit. I'm going to start this layout off. I'm going to start this layout uh, by drawing a circle. You saw me use my Creative Memories uh, circle cutters and I used those to um, just very very lightly draw a circle around my entire 12 by 12 layout. Now I'm going to be using a collection of inks that I think match uh, this line very well and I'm going to kind of smush in and add color to my circle. I'm going to use four different inks and four different colors uh, that appear in the collection. So I'm trying to remember, I think the pink is Altenew and it's Coral Berry. The purple is a Distress Oxide ink. It is Seedless Preserves. I am using my very favorite navy ink. This is Catherine Puller ink and it's Juniper Mist and it's like, I, there's no navy like this navy. Like it's just perfect navy. And then the teal color I'm going to use is Altenew uh, Crisp Ink. It's a Lagoon ink. Um, so if you know, if you, if you watch me all the time, then you know these are like my go-to ink brands. Uh, so I'm just going to add color around my whole circle and this is going to be my photo. So kind of the inspiration for this layout came from a layout that I did in the fall. I will try to find the video for that and link it below. It's photos of my sister when she was like huge and crazy pregnant back in September and I had done another layout that I had posted using this kit and this will be like the face page so I thought it would be fun to have in my album the two layouts kind of side by side each other using some of the same collection. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut apart this cut apart sheet. I'm going to borrow, I think I used three, yeah. So I'm going to use three, a four by six card and two three by fours and I'm going to cut them all up to create layers behind my photo. I'm going to start with that big four by six one. I'm going to trim down my photo just a little bit so that it will fit right smack dab in the middle <laughs> of that four by six product project life card and just give a nice frame around the car around the photo. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to surgically dissect these cards, this 3 by 4 card, um, because I want just a little bit of these colors all peeking from around the photo, um, but I don't want to put the whole 3 by 4 card there because then I'm not going to get the colors I want. And I'm actually going to gut this 3 by 4 card because I really like that pink and wood grain piece in the middle and I feel like that would be a really nice addition to another layout. <laughs> maybe, you know, the next time I feel like pulling out one of these older kits and working with them. So I think it's really important when you have a stash to um, every so often um, intentionally go back and grab some of those kits that you made a layout or two of and then put aside. And a really great way to do this is to go back and look at some of the layouts you created before with the kits. So for example, for I chose my photos based on the fact that I went back through and looked at what I had created with the Girl Tribe kit. And I said, oh, I have more photos from this photo session. And then they can go in my album and they can all coordinate and have the same products. So that is a really great suggestion if you are a Kit Club member um, 
and you have some older kits that you've started to use, create a couple layouts, then kind of put it away in your stash. Trust me, I know, I do it too. Um, so this is a good way to use it. And if you are someone who loves kits and can't afford to maybe have a subscription, just uh, know that this particular kit, the Girl Tribe Kit, is in the Click Kit shop. You can buy it as a one-time purchase. And I will leave a link below uh, with a link to that particular kit. And then when you check out, you can use my code, Sarah Scraps, all one word, all capitals, and get a discount on your kit too. So what I did was, was I went through all of my ink sprays. And I pulled out um, some coordinating ink colors. The teal is a Dilutions color. This is the, it's a jade color. I have it in a couple of different mediums. And it's my favorite teal. It's a really saturated and beautiful teal. In fact, if you watched the video that I had up yesterday, you saw how I used the Dilutions paint. And this is just that coordinating ink. The rest of the inks are all from Shimmers. The pink is Pink Stilettos. The purpley color is, um... It's the mauve one. I can't remember the exact name. And then the blue is called Mama Sings the Blues, I think. Yeah. So I just added some splatters. And I'm going to add these little floral pieces from the die cut pack. And just kind of tuck them in and around my photo. And they kind of help to hide those maybe sharp edges from the little photo corners where I wanted to add some color. So I know from my title that I want to use oodles of these glitter thickers. These are gorgeous. They're so gorgeous and they have wonderful, wonderful um, phrases and sayings. And so I picked three that I thought really worked well with my photo. Plus, again, I remembered that that other layout I had created used the word love. <laughs> so I'm adding these teal thickers and I'm going to put enjoy, a smile, and happy. So this is just a collection of words for my title. I don't have, you know, articles in there. It's not, you know, it's just a collection of words to describe uh, the people in the photo and how they look. So I'm going to peel these off ever so carefully. I don't know if these got um, some environmental, I don't want to say damage because they're not damaged, but... Um, you know, in my house, like maybe it got too moist or too dry or I don't know, but they, they're sticky, but they're starting to stick to the backer paper, which I don't know what causes that, but I'm just very carefully peeling them off. And that's going to be my title. I think I messed with that smile a little bit and I think I cut it totally out because see how it's kind of like, it's like wonky or something. And, um, so off camera, I think I keep adjusting it throughout this layout. <laughs> So the next thing I want to do is add, I add some stamps. Um, so I'm doing the same four color inks. This is a feature craft stamp set called Pattern Play and it's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm doing lots of like tone on tone stamping. And I just wanted to add some of these, like just some interest. Um, I want these colors to be vibrant and bold and pretty and happy and I just wanted to add a little bit of interest and so I'm doing that with this pattern play stamp set. Again this one is from Feature Craft. This also was my stamping project for yesterday for my 100 or for Sunday for my 100 days product project. I want to get better at stamping. I want to get better at incorporating stamps into um my scrapbook layouts because I love to stamp. I love it. And so I really want to learn how to really incorporate those stamps into my scrapbook layouts. And so I'm doing that by stamping every day for 100 days. Um, and some of that stamping will show up in videos, but all of the stamping will be in my Instagram feed. So if you don't follow me over there, it's just sarah.scraps and you can follow along on my stamping adventures. So I'm gonna grab this paper. This was another paper from the collection and one side has cameras which are amazingly um, fussy cut usable. <laughs> and the other side has all these icons which again, total fussy cut usable. So I am doing the same color on color thing. I'm going through this whole paper. I'm pulling some pinks and I'm pulling some teals and I'm pulling some purples and I'm pulling some of the darker navy blues. And right now I am just rough cutting them. 
and deciding which elements I want and where I want them. And then I go off camera. Oh, and I'm also gonna grab some sequins. Again, I'm going for tone on tone. So I grab some sequins that I think coordinate with all of the different colors, my four different colors that I have chosen. I'm gonna set those off to the side and then I go off camera, turn my camera off and just have some fun. Uh, fussy cutting all of those beautiful images. I love the birds. I love how I was able to find them facing just the right way so I could get them to kind of, you can kind of follow the birds and follow your eye all the way around the layout. I think that that turned out really, really good. So now I have everything fussy cut. I am popping some things up with some uh, foam tape, foam squares and some other things I am just placing around the layout in a pleasing manner. So I have some clouds, I have those birds. I know that all the birds got pop dotted because I really wanted them to be like a nice little vocal point that you could follow them all the way around the, around the layout. And now I'm adding tone on tone sequins. So um, the, I'm happy with how all of my tone on tone sequins turned out except the purple was a little bit off. Um, which, you know, purples are a little hard to kind of do and get just right. <laughs> so I have some the pinks and the purples are from oh and I think I pulled the the tealy color too from this this one's called Easter Basket this is a sequin mix from Spiegel Mom Scrubs and um, there is also I think I pulled the navy blue is from We Are Royal, which is like my absolute favorite sequin mix that is currently in the shop. Um, and so I'm just taking my Zot Spling and I'm putting sequins tone on tone around the entire layout. And I really, really love just the added sparkle and interest that those sequins give. Um, I've been really enjoying this idea of like tone on tone embellishing lately. <laughs> um, and I think it turned out really, really beautiful. So thank you so much for joining me today. Here are some close-ups. Have a wonderful, a wonderful Tuesday. And I will see you again tomorrow for another video. This one's for Crafty Maven. Bye.